Hey 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 everyone, it's Console Gamer here, and today we're going to be looking at how to configure your modem router to connect to certain ports to hopefully better your gaming experience on your console's network. Now some of you may be aware that uh, I have a, an instruction video on how to create a DMZ um, using your console, and, and this method pretty much does the same thing but um, it's all manually configured and uh, there's a lot of uh, steps um, to, to take in so let's get into it and um, let's see what we're going to do so the ports we want to open up on the Xbox One are 53, 80, 88, 500, 3074, 3544 and 4500 so write these down and we'll use them for later for the PS4 we want to open up ports 80, 443, 1935, 3478, 3479 and 3480. So write these down and keep them for later. But now it's time for step 1. Alright guys, so the easiest and fastest way to find out the default gateway address of your modem router is to connect your console directly to the modem router either via wireless or with a standard network cable. Once everything is connected and you're online, you basically want to go to the settings. So on the PS4, we want to go to settings and into network and we want to view connection status. So on this page, as you can see, we've got the IP address, subnet mask and default gateway. Now you want to write down your default gateway and not mine, so write that down and record it for later. On the Xbox One, we want to go into the settings via the home menu and in the settings, little prompt there, we'll go to settings again. And in the middle of the page, we want to go into the network settings and the advanced settings just underneath that. So in the change settings window, as you can see on the right hand side, we've got the IP address, subnet mask and gateway. You guys want to write down the gateway address of your Xbox there. So write that down and record it for later. Now some of you might be on a PC or a Mac. I'm going to show you the PC version of how to obtain the uh, default gateway. So the best way to do that is to click start. In the all programs option we'll go to the accessories folder. In accessories there's command prompt. So just open that up and you'll be presented with a black screen like this and what you want to do is type in IP config so do that now and press enter now as you'll see a whole bunch of text will come up just ignore all that well the one we're interested in is default gateway so mine is 192.168.0.1 just write down your default address and we'll use it to log into the modem if anyone happens to be using a Mac what you need to do is find out the address via the terminal it's basically the equivalent of command prompt in Windows so this is how to do it I'll add the uh, the link to the description um, of this video. And that concludes how to find out the IP address of your modem router slash default gateway. Alrighty, so the next part or step two is to log into your modem router. What I'm using to do that is Google Chrome. You can use Firefox, Safari, IE, anything you like. What you need to do is enter the IP address of the default gateway router that you wrote down into the address bar. You will then be prompted with a username and password if your modem router is secure. So mine is admin for the username and I'm going to type in my custom password that I've set for it to log in. As you can see, I've got a Netgear DGN3500. Um, the model number is up the top there so you might find that your model number information is in the same region um, sometimes on the top left or top right but um, you might have to to find out there so in step three guys we're going to go into a website called portforward.com so what I'm going to do now is open up a new tab type in portforward.com press enter as you can see we're at the port forward site I'll give you guys a link in the description as well now it's funny because um, it's actually got links on whoops I just clicked on an accelerator I'll close that down it's got links on the Xbox one and PS4 guides so feel free to check that out actually I'll click on the PS4 just as an example you can do that with the Xbox one if you like 
as you can see we've got a list of manufacturers who make and produce modems and routers mine is a Netgear so I'm going to scroll all the way to N or click on the hyperlink now I'm going to scroll down to the model number of my modem router so that's why I got you to log into the modem and record down your model number um, as you can see here in this page it's got all the information that you need to log into the modem router and um, basically set up the configuration for port forwarding so don't forget this step here we want to designate the IP address of the console so I've chosen 192.168.0.50 and as you can see I'm scrolling through the guide and it's pretty comprehensive it's got step-by-step -step instructions and what ports to open so feel free to read that but now it's time to configure the modem router alright so we're up to part 3 of this guide hopefully no one's lost or confused or anything like that if you are feel free to comment and I'll help you out where necessary um, and hopefully um, you guys have found the model number of the modem router and um, have checked portfold.com for the instructions on how to log in and uh, basically what to do in terms of going to the right menu and selecting the option applicable to you. So I'm following my guide for the Netgear and I've clicked on services. Now as you can see it's pretty comprehensive so um, it tells us the, the ports to open as well but I'm, I'm not going through the guide I've clicked on services as it's instructed me to do I've given it a name I'm gonna generalize here so it will ask you for a name um, I'm gonna call mine PS4 and then the port number um, the type is gonna be TCP dash UDP so we want both open um, the start of the port is the port number we want to open and the finished port is the same number so we click apply as you can see it's opened up well it's showing up in my list of ports um, under services as you can see I've got armor ports as well because I play armor on PC um, now the guide is instructing me to go to firewall rules here we want to allow an inbound connection and I've just clicked add so I can add my inbound service now the service name is going to be what I've created earlier the PS4 and the port number the action we want to allow always it's going to be different for you but mine says allow always and that's what we want to do now we want to send or allow the the port to be open for a, a specific server and that's going to be the IP address of your console so mine's 192.168.0.50 I'll hit apply and as you can see in the inbound services I've got it listed there so I'm going to apply again to save the changes but that's pretty much it in terms of um, allowing a port or, or forwarding a port to your particular console um, you pretty much have to do that for every port that that's listed um, in this video or the ones that are listed on portfold.com but um, yeah it's going to be different as I said but uh, portfold.com has a comprehensive list of modem routers that you can look up the guide for but that's pretty much it you create the service and allow the inbound connection to happen to the console directly alright so hopefully you guys have made it this far and hopefully um, it's all gone smoothly um, you've got uh, a massive reference guide there at portforwarding.com and feel free to comment as well if you have any questions um, and I'll be happy to answer them what we're doing now is downloading and installing the PF port checker which is a free download it's only about 160 kilobytes so it shouldn't even take you 10 seconds to download um, and that can be found in portfold.com I'll give you guys the link in the description so we want to run it we want to decline when it asks for some other software to, to install so decline three times as you can see and it'll install um, PF port checker itself so we want to finish execute the software here we go and as you can see pretty simple application we've got the port number to check I'm going to uh, check port 80 so type in the port number we can check whether we want to test it via UDP or TCP um, just unblock that as well but as you can see it's not going to work for me because I have um, ICMP uh, turned off on my modem router 
and basically that means I can't uh, receive an external packet from the internet to uh, confirm this port to check a test but hopefully it works for you guys let me know if it doesn't well that's pretty much it guys that concludes the tutorial on how to configure your modem router for port forwarding I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it uh, useful and educational um, that pretty much concludes the tutorial if you have um, anything you want to discuss feel free to comment if you have any questions feel free to do the same and if you like this video please take the time to hit the like button um, and if you want any further uh, tutorials in the future feel free to uh, subscribe thank you very much